the patterns it's tiny patterns of favosita coral in other words this is honeycomb coral also tabulate uh, also from the silurian age and very nice specimen like big like no not very big but for me this is big because i often think only small chunks this is so neat to be honest like an egg yeah <laughs> now i'm happy Another unusual rock, and it is yep a colony of corals. But what kind of corals? Let's check. Interesting. <laughs> it's quite neat, but uh, not exactly a keeper because uh, it's very hard to clean corals like this one. And anyway, this is a colony of some sort of orgosa like horn corals. Corals. I think. <laughs> well, it's neat looking, but when dried out, not very cool. In any way, I will take it. <laughs> nice. And so I am in a new place and I have these two new rocks. These are fossilized corals from the Silurian time period. And today I will try to polish them up and we'll see if they will look any more decent because when they are wet they look magnificent but when dry they don't look like much so let's try to change that and this new place <laughs> will be my working place for i don't know the coming year because i have some changes in my life going on with some building stuff you know and yeah i will have to work here outside hopefully <laughs> the winter won't be too cold or they, there won't be any prepping slash polishing content in the future and so let's try to go ahead and polish them up Yep, when you're doing stuff like that, grinding corals, you better wear a mask. Also when polishing camber, but when I'm doing camber, I do forget sometimes. Because there's not much dust, but with this, there's tons of dust. So, what do you think? First of all, this uh, specific coral is a honeycomb coral or the favocitas, and it's uh, fossilized in quartz. So, I think this one, this one might be a successful polishing. Uh, result in the end. I'm not sure about this one though. This one We will see so I will do a time-lapse on the other half because this one will take a little bit more uh, time uh, to pre-polish so let's do a time-lapse on that one Yep, I think we are done. There's lots and lots of dust left. I mean, it's not gonna be as perfect as amber because uh, because it's rock and it will take me like million years to do with Dremel, but I think it still will be candy. So right now, what I will do, we will move to higher grit with, of sandpaper because on the Dremel there was like 400 grit and I did use a few of bits to like uh, scrape them off completely. So yeah, um, it wasn't as bad, I was expecting it will be worse with Rammel, but it's quite, it's doable, you know, so yeah, that's neat. So let's go ahead now and proceed with this piece, because still there's still one piece waiting for us, and it's this one. Or maybe 
Maybe we'll do it in another video, I don't know yet. Okay, let's bring some sandpaper. So, same as Amber, I did bring 1500 grit sandpaper. Uh, we will proceed from this point. And now it's time to wash it off, because it should look a lot better now. We have some water here. Oh baby, it looks so nice already. Basically, I want it to look exactly like this when it's dry, because now it's wet, so it's a lot better looking. But my goal is to leave it look like this when, when it's not wet. Okay. <laughs> this will take a while probably, but let's go. I'm done repolishing up to 2500 grit. Basically, it's now dry. It already looks a lot better, but we will see after I will polish it, how will it look. I think it will be fantastic. I'm not sure if my polishing paste will work on this uh, material, the quartz, but we will test it tomorrow because now it's quite dark outside and I want to show you full effects of polishing of this piece when it will be bright tomorrow on the sun because if it's quartz it should shine like crazy on the sun and yeah today we still have to finish this piece of coral and it's quite dark and quite quite late like look behind me it, it's completely dark right now so yeah let's not waste any time and finish the second piece and yeah that will be it Okay, I finished pre-polishing this piece, it's very smooth, very nice to touch it, but yeah, when dry it doesn't look so impressive. I finished the work yesterday, today is the new day, and when I told that I will show you these two pieces polished, and if it's quartz it will shine very nice on the sun, well, I lied because today is no sun. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, check if my usual polishing paste will do the work because if not I will have to go and buy some cerium, cerium oxide that's how it's called the thing because cerium oxide is a universal polishing thingy and it will surely work but I hope that I won't have to go and drive to get new stuff and this will do the job And okay, here we have it, it's completely dry. I did achieve uh, the result which I expected, so it looks dry as if it were wet, right? So yeah, it doesn't have as nice polish uh, because yeah, the polishing stone is a lot harder and I guess we will need some more tools for that. But it looks absolutely stunning right now, very cool piece. I love it and yeah, I would call it success, so basically with a basic tools like Dremel you can uh, polish uh, corals like to this level as I did right now, as a minimum. Probably if I would have a oxide, uh, then it would be even better results. So the light is quite poor right now outside, so I can't get a better lighting to show it more properly, properly but it's very nice egg-shaped and it looks a lot better than before. <laughs> you should see a comparison right about now with the previous one. And now let's uh, sh let me show you a next stone. There we go, the next coral of solitary corals uh, polished. It also looks uh, like it's wet constantly. Uh, I will say the same things uh, as before. It's not the best result, but it's like uh, okayish result for me. It would look a lot better if I would have proper lighting right now, but uh, I don't have conditions to make proper lighting and today is no sun. But it looks quite nice, the corals are a lot better visible right now, and it's quite neat.
and yeah that's it for the video so i hope you did enjoy it if you did make sure to smash that like, bu like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more fossil preparation content in the future and yeah <laughs> i'm very satisfied that with the dremel i can polish not just ember but nice corals as well and yeah thanks for watching and see you next time bye